Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building. She got one of the hot, she got like song of the summer at this point. I think it's safe to say that Memphis in the building. Glow Rilla is in the fucking building. Let's go, big let's, glow. Let's go. Yeah. And just for emphasis, before anybody else from New York, we got her first interview right here. It's 12 p.m., fresh off the flight from London. Yeah. She in the building. And I'm just, I'm so honored to one, do your first New York interview, and two, like, you just killed it at Wireless Festival. Like, this is this is uh, an amazing time for you right now. Yeah, it's like everything is just going up right now. I feel so blessed. How was uh How was London? How they treat you over there? I love them people over there. I wish I was from London. You wish you was from <laughs> London? Yeah, I like I love their accent. Okay, can you have it? Can you do a London accent? Did you try to do? Tell London? me something to say. I don't know. Just just say. Just Give say. me a sentence. Say say a lyric from your song in in a British accent. Can you do that? Okay. Um. <laughs> Mm, hello. I believe in you. <laughs> you can't, nah, you can't have performance anxiety now. You got to do it. I'm trying to think of what lyric to say. Hold on. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. I can't, I can't, I don't know. Good day. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> I think I need. I like saying the bloody part. They be like, it's so bloody hot out here. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> that was good. I, I like that. That was good. I yeah. fuck with that. I fuck with that. Was that, that so that was your first big festival? Then? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep, that was crazy. I was watching some of the videos um, over the weekend while you was performing, and I was just like, it, it's so crazy, like how quickly like these things can just like spiral and get to this point where it's just like. I'm sure you probably got the call like pretty recently, like, yo, we need you on this on this festival yeah. type shit. Uh -huh. That that must have been insane. Yeah, I, it was crazy. Like I when people be telling like every time somebody tell me some big news, I still don't be believing in it until it actually happened. But when it's about to happen, I'd be like, Oh, okay, it's about this shit. Go on. Were you nervous? Yeah, and no. Uh, no? Yeah, cause like yeah, it was like a way bigger crowd, thousands of people, but I didn't get used to like I have shows every day, so like I'm always performing in front of people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it'd be a little crowd, sometimes it'd be big crowds, but it never been no crowd that big. But like I just put it on the same, uh, oh, Glorilla, go perform, say my ma'am, get it over with. Did it all like uh is it all like a blur in your mind? Like did you just kinda like you know how artists be like, Oh, I blacked out like once I hit the stage? Like were, were you kind of like that too, or are you very like present in, in in the moment when you were when you were there? In between. In between. Like I don't look at one person. I look at something. Like I look at different spots and, and just wrap the song in my head. It's like I'm not looking. I'm looking at it, but my my eyes ain't right there for real. Right. With um, when you did F and F too, I'm assuming they knew every single every single bar. You talking about out there in London? Yeah. You know, I saw some people, you know what I'm saying? It's a different country, so I didn't expect, like, the whole crowd to just no, know it. No, it don't matter, yeah. But, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I looked in the crowd, I saw a couple of people knew their little joint. I love that for you. Nah, because yeah. when you were, I think I saw you tweet, you like, oh, I love it out here. And I was just like, damn, man, like, it's really so cool to see how you've gone up these past couple months and, like, just how this all began. Um, For you, when you first started, when the song first started getting the traction, you were like, oh, like, this is getting crazy. Like, what was, like, the moment for you when you were kind of like, oh, we, this is getting out of hand. Like, this is, this is, this song really starting to move. When, um, different celebrities started hitting me up. Okay. Like, I saw the views going up, and I'm like, okay, you know. People seeing it, but when celebrities actually got to hit me up, stuff like that, I'm like, ah, yeah, this joint big. Like, they hit me up about this joint. Do you remember who the first person was who hit you up about it? Um, It's so crazy, because, okay, before the song blew up, before the actual video came out, Duffy, mm. she was the first person that reached out and was like, she liked the song, stuff like that. But she did when I had just made the trailer. Okay. But, when I actually put the video out, uh, it was so crazy. Shaq DM me. I was like, Shaq? <laughs> he was like, um, I like your song. I like your new single. I was like, I clicked on his page. I was like, this Shaq? Shaq like this, Shaq? <laughs> but yeah, it was Shaq, then um, Sweetie, then Bad. Like, it, they just kept coming every day. Every day a new person would hit me up. That's crazy. You know, and you know Shaq be going crazy on the DJ set. You ever seen, you know Shaq's a DJ too, right? I ain't know that. He's a DJ. What, what was, yo, Calvin, you know, what was the festival that Shaq did? Oh, it was Governor's Ball, right? Yeah, he did a, Shaq had like his own DJ set at, at Governor's Ball out here at City Field too. 
I ain't know that. He probably played your song too. That's crazy. Diesel. <laughs> Shaq Dad Diesel's <laughs> DJ name. That's crazy. That's funny. So have so obviously you know I, I saw the other day too like Megan The Stallion was dancing to it. I think you you tweeted about that too, mm -hmm. which I thought was really crazy. Have you heard the clip of what Cardi B said about you? When she DM me? No, Car I have a clip of what of Cardi B oh, talking about your nah. song. What okay, I'm about to, I'm about to play it for you. This is the clip that Sherry was talking about. Yeah, I love All Cardi. Right, so this was um. This was during uh, a couple weeks ago, no, like two weeks ago, Angie Martinez interviewed Cardi B. Yeah. Um, and then Cardi B said this about you. I'm going to have to put the clip here or something, but take a listen. Uh, like, all right, like, there's not really even a song of the summer right now. If you think about it, besides <laughs> Fuck Nigga Free. Like, that's the only song that... That's, you, you let it go for that? You yeah, it's like, that on one that? is an app. <laughs> Yeah, so she said that she said that you got song of the summer. That's crazy. I love Cardi so much. Like I really love her. <laughs> How does it make you feel hearing like hearing that from crazy. her? Crazy. It's crazy. I can't believe you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that yet. I haven't heard it yet. I would have thought like maybe even like y'all because you said she DM'd you, right? Mm -hmm. What did she what did she say to you? Um, it was so crazy. I had just got off the plane. The first my first time coming out here. I had just got off the plane. As soon as I got off the plane, you know, we went to back flame out it. She texted me. I was like, no, she hearted something because I used to always DM her all the time. All the time. <laughs> like, I used to blow her up. And so she hearted something. I sent her. I don't know what it was. I sent her, but, you know, on Instagram on the DM, the picture disappeared. Okay. So I don't know what I had sent her, but I know she hearted it. Then um, I text her after she hearted it. Then she texted me back. Then she sent me the little voice message and stuff mm. like that. I'm like, ah, Cardi. I love Cardi. I'm hoping I'm hoping for a remix soon. Something like that. Maybe some. I, I, obviously, you got to do a remix at some point. Yeah. You got to do a remix of the song at some point, but I'm sure that's already in the works, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, thing, yeah, thing. Something coming. Something it's coming. Yep. And my, I think also like the what I, I love about this whole movement that like that you've created is like I I have tweets right of people mm -hmm. talking about you and your friends right. Yeah. And I'm hold on, let me make, let me make sure that I got it right here. One of the tweets. Was talking about how oh it moved away, but one of the tweets was talking about how like you and your ratchet friends is what the industry been missing and that they need to protect you and your friends at all costs. <laughs> yeah, for real. But like you know, like well, of course we got to move now with security, but you know we so used to. You know my friends they they like they they some gangster females, so right. They tough they self. <laughs> they on security. They gonna whoop somebody ass by themselves. <laughs> So don't they people when they pull up on you don't do not fuck around with your friends because your friends don't play with them don't play with them like they look at they look at the internet right there and they can hide behind the keyboard because right. they ain't gonna say that to their face my they gonna fight you know, my friends no nah, but fight. they love your friends they love your friends they yeah. they talk they talking about how yeah. amazing your friends are yeah like yeah like but I'm saying like the people that be saying little stuff okay, like okay. my friends they they some gangsters you know they from the hood right the, all those girls that was that was with you like in the video with uh, with Gotti and whatnot they, they all your day ones or. It was a couple like okay. um, they just came to be in the video. Okay, cool. But well, I shot a video today, mm. and so I actually didn't know anything gonna go down. How everything went down, mm. but it was a couple. It was like two girls there that I really didn't know like that. But everybody else, they're my folks. That's dope. I love that. Mm -hmm. One of the other tweets that I saved too, because I just thought it was so it was so beautiful. They were like, uh, "Glorilla's name being Gloria warms my heart. We need young people with classic names. The babies need someone to call." Miss Gloria, uh, if you know a Barbara <laughs> under 35, please keep her lifted in your prayer. <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy because the other day somebody told me, my grandma named Gloria. I like everybody grandma named Gloria. <laughs> my grandma named Gloria. <laughs> but it was funny because like before I saw that tweet, I was I didn't I didn't really know your name was Gloria, and I saw that I was like, oh, this is beautiful. Like, yeah, it's really just two L's. I added to my name. Yeah, it was. Was it just like a decision where you're just like, oh fuck, I'm just gonna add the L's in? No, I just say it like that because once I look at it, I'm like that, Gloria is really Gloria with two L's. But my cousin gave me the Gloria. Oh, your cousin gave you the Gloria yeah. name. Why? Why did they name you that? Just. We, okay, so at first I was just going by Big Glow. <laughs> Do before I started putting music out, and I said I'm just gonna go by Big Glow for my rap name. And so my cousin was like, Nah, you need to think of something else. And so you know, my cousin like he always been around when I was on Wow Crazy growing mm -hmm. up. So he was like Glow really. At first I laughed when he first said it, but I'm like, you know what? That's actually kind of hard. Free him, he in jail. He get out in tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> well, by the time y'all see this, he's free now. <laughs> but I kind of like Big. Yo, Big Glow kind of tough. 
Yeah, like I had it tattooed on tattoo me, but also? it was ugly, so I got it covered up. Oh, okay. It used to be tattooed right here. Was my first tattoo I ever got, I was 17. And it said Big Glow with a crown on it. But it looked like the dude didn't tattoo it right, so it looked like he said Big Six. <laughs> How do you... <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. I'm actually got a genuinely. Picture I can show you. Please, because I'm actually genuinely like in, ha, big glow. So B I G G L O. Like it was horrible. But how does it look like big? Si how does how do you turn like, glow into six? I swear to God, people a lot when I hit God, they were like, "What did it say?" I see the B. They were like, "U G D." I'm like, "No." How do you? How do you get go from glow to six? I'm finna show you. She's scrolling okay, hella hard right on her phone too. See, he had kind of fixed it. I had made him fix it around this time. But you see, you really don't look like you say big glow right there, do you? I don't know what it says. Okay, let me try to find a clearer. <laughs> no, I no, I see it. I see. I see. It looks like big glow. Like it looks That's like GLI. It looks like GLI. It looks like G. It looks like I it's had like to GLI. get it covered up because I'm like, uh, uh like if you stir my tattoo, you can kind of still see it a little bit. But yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't see it at all. I'm like looking at. I'm like staring at it now, trying to see if I see the crown in there. I don't see it. You gotta stir it like it's like. How long I gotta stare at it for before I, before <laughs> I see it? <laughs> I like stared at it mad hard. Like I don't see the 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 big uh, glow. I don't see the crown. You did a pretty whoever did whoever did the tattoo to cover it up did a great job. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he did good. He fast. He that, that they actually are you still you looking for another picture? Yes. Okay. Here she really wants me like to see how seat. bad it was too. That's crazy. Look, this how I looked. You see how it separated? It looked like say big glow, big glow. You see that? <laughs> It really looks like, and I snuck it got this tattoo. Big, I was seventeen. My. Big low, big low, no, no big glow, big low. Yeah, but when I was going to school, they were like, "What they say, big six? What they supposed to say?" I'm like, "It's crazy." So I had to go get the junk covered up. I'm getting another big glow tattoo though. So how long have you like officially been doing <laughs> um, music for? Like taking it seriously? Well, I mean, taking it seriously, and like how long you been at this? Um, so I went to the studio in, like early 2018. Mm -hmm. But that's when I found that I liked it. Then I started taking it serious at the end of the year, 2018. Mm, okay. Because I saw you, I think it was on Instagram, you did like this very long post about like, you, like a lot of people think it happened for me overnight, not knowing the hard work and passion I put into it for years just to get to this moment right here. Yeah, too. like a lot of people think I made that song, Need You Blue, but the whole time. I, I didn't cry because I wasn't getting very mm. People want to support me. I didn't been through all of it. And when that song blew, it was crazy. Like, this, like people, I saw a stat, they were like, Glow made a song and Blue, you niggas been in the studio for such and such. I'm like, shit, I did too. I said, <laughs> my time came. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I've been working, I've been, me and my manager had long nights worrying about when I was going to blow, like when certain stuff was going to happen. It just, they one did it. Right. If you, even if you look at like you go on any of your like streaming platforms, DSPs, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever, you like can f actually see the work. Too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. There's a lot of old songs on there, too. Yeah, I sound like a baby back then when I first started rapping. Yeah, well, you uh -huh. know. I I, like that's part of your history. Baby. That's part of your history, though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they, go, if they actually go look me up there recently, they can see I've been rapping. Right. And then Hit Kid, how did y'all two get together? Um, We had a show 2020. It was last year. Okay. No, 2021. It was a showcase, really. All the Memphis artists were coming, really. Oh, it was nice. a, a contest, really, for first, second, third place. I ended up, I ain't win none of the places. I, I had left because I knew I probably wasn't going to win. But um, he killed there. I don't know what reason he was there for, but I know he was there. And my manager kept saying, y'all need to talk to Hickey, y'all need to talk to Hickey. So Hickey ended up, uh, after we all performed, we all, we talked to Hickey, and he had got me. And you see the videos of me and the other girls? Yeah. Yeah, he got all us. He was like, I'm going to put y'all in the group chat, and um, y'all come to the studio tomorrow from 8 to 12. So that was on the Saturday we had the show. So I went to the studio this Sunday from 8 to 12. And then that's when we had came up with the song we got called Set the Tone. Mm -hmm. This joint, like, they, this joint here went, like, viral. And now, like, Erie. Yeah, yeah. Like, Mississippi, Memphis, all that. It went viral over there and stuff like that. And so ever since then, we've been constantly working with Hickey. We had did the EP with him. I had, he had gave me, I mean, we did a beat word, my song, Westside Baby. I did that with him. Then, yeah. Just the chemistry. Me and Hickey got a chemistry, like, he can make the beats for my voice. Wow, and I and I love y'all together on that. You know what else that I really love that was unexpected. Well, not I want to say it was entirely unexpected, but when I saw it pop up on my feet, I was like, "This is beautiful." It was you and Duke? Yeah. Because this is uh -huh. like, because one, first of all, Duke Deuce, 
incredible dancer. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, you know I what I'm saying? I want to learn how to like him so bad. I, wanna, I was going to ask you. I was going to be like, yo, who in a dance battle, right? You versus Duke Deuce. Who taking it? Him. I know I do one juke <laughs> move. I know I do one. And I hit. It was so crazy because I've been saying I'm going to learn how to juke. Then, like, me and him end up doing a song in, like, February, mm. I want to say. And so I had went ahead and hit dude up named Marcus. He be juking and stuff and right. making too. So I told him, I'm like, teach me some moves. You know what I'm saying? Me and Duke, Duke just did a song. I know we're going to shoot a video. I want to be juking like how he do it. And that's why I had learned the little move. I did, I did the journey if and if. I was like. I peeped. Yeah, I peeped. that's you, the only one I know you, you how got, to do. Just that, just the one. <laughs> so Duke Deuce, Duke Deuce killing you in a dance He's battle. He's going to murder me. <laughs> Yo. He cold. The crunk star himself. Yeah, he cold. I like, I, but I like, I feel like y'all's energies together was perfect. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he got that, he got that high energy. Obviously, he be dancing. And then like you coming through on that record too. I was like, I was like, I don't know if I've heard a more perfect record than this between like the two of you. Like, this is just so great. Yeah, we both got that same crunk energy, that but, Memphis energy. Yeah, did y'all y'all knew each other prior to that, or was he one of the people that reached out to you? He, we did that song. F and F was in April. We did that song in February. Mm, okay. So like, he worked with he kid a lot. Like, okay. That's how really how me and him had connected because he kid hit me up. He was like, Duke wants you on this song and stuff like that. And I went to the studio the next day actually. In the verse, it really was different. I changed the key with like, come like you talking to me, stuff like that. So I changed the verse. And it's so crazy because I didn't like my verse on there. Mm -hmm. But it ended up, everybody else ended up liking it though. But yeah, me and Duke Duke said that song in February. And we posted, we was already working towards the video. He was trying to get it clear. I had seen him my lyrics and everything before F and F dropped. Mm -hmm. A lot of people thought he was just reaching out to me because of the song, but me and him already had. He did song. Okay, so we can clear the air on that. This, yeah. You and Duke have been locked in before FNF. Yeah, uh-huh. That's tough. So he really been there since, like, like before that, before all yeah, this? Yeah, like, he had already wanted to do the song with me before I hit Blue. That's incredible. And yeah. obviously, you know, we can't we can't do this interview without talking about this beautiful piece around your neck now, you know what I'm yes. saying? Big well, CMG. Big CMG, right? Yeah. We, we spoke about the video on the jet with, with, with obviously, your, your ratchet best friends already, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, But, with so Gotti, right, when Gotti, when did Gotti reach out to you? Day or two after the song dropped. Okay, so he was on it. He was like, boom, we we do we making this happen. Yeah, like he like uh it's a video, a cameraman from Memphis mm -hmm. who had reached out to me telling me that. You know what I'm saying? He was like, God just saw the video. This was like day after, Friday, so I don't know, it was real soon. He was like, God saw the video, da 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 wham, wham, wham. But I was so busy still, like I was everybody was flying me out, like labels and I was doing different stuff, and he was trying to lock in. So I finally mm -hmm. got, I had finally locked in with him probably like two weeks afterwards. It was just, that's it. That's, that's beautiful. I love yeah. it. What, because, you know, when I had, like, when I had, like, 30 of them up here, too, like, they always tell me about, like, the best piece of advice that Gotti has given them. Because, you know, Gotti got all the gems, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, yep. What's, what, I know it's, it's early, but, like, what has, what has been, like, the best gem that Gotti gave you going into this, uh, into this music industry now? He give, he give me a lot of, like, good game. But, like, one of the things that I get from him, like, he don't sleep. He work, he'll work a holiday. Like, mm. he be saying, like, you going to get sleep in the end. Like, don't ever get lazy. Don't get too comfortable. Don't, like, just keep working. And that's what I like about him. Like, he, he a worker for sure. He mm. going to get stuff done. Right. Big boss got him. Yeah, uh-huh. He a real boss. Like, I want to be. Just, just like him. Yeah. Like, just I like him. I want to be on some foul shit. Word. You, you definitely, know? definitely about to, you definitely about to be on that. Is there anything that like you're already like thinking of, like you want to do, like business, like business wise, property wise, like you already kind of thinking about that now, yeah? Yeah. Or like not? I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna invest in, but one, I ain't gonna see, I ain't gonna let nobody steal my idea. Okay. Nobody can steal yeah. your idea. <laughs> nobody. She not gonna say, it, but it's coming. It's coming soon. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I peep too? Uh, rolling loud in New York. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited for it. I thought that was gonna be my first big crowd, but I ended up doing London. But I'm so like I always wanted to do a rolling loud. When they had hit me up, mm. I was like, rolling loud. This gonna be crazy. That should go be. I'm a little. I'm like. I'm like. Damn. I wish I would have seen her. I wish she was on the Miami lineup. But I think that you doing New York is is gonna be so fucking incredible too. Because might of how see big me song. in Miami. Might see you in Miami. Might see me in Miami. Ooh. There you go. There's a little something. <laughs> Okay, cool, yeah. Um, but yeah, so rolling out New York, right? You on the lineup? Very exciting. Yeah. Um, what? 
Do, are, are you in tune with like a lot of the New York music? Do, or, is there anybody else you're excited to see at that that you know about yet? Like on the lineup? Uh, who was on the lineup that style? Was that ASAP Rock? I believe. Am I? On... Oh no, New York. New York's lineup. Nikki's on. Nikki. I'm not on Hussy. Hus the day before, man. Okay. Oh, so you're just gonna go come for your day and then, and then be out. I don't know. I don't know really. I just know I got. I know I'm not on her, on her seat. I think I'm on ASAP Rocky joint. Okay, that that day, yeah. You gonna say for Rocky? Yeah, I, I ain't met little baby yet. You ain't get to meet little baby yet. Yeah, I love little baby though. Soon come. Uh, Soon come. We're well, rolling out. gonna be dope. Um, so what else are you kind of working on right now? So obviously possible remix and the work for the song. Uh, what else are you kind of cooking up right now? What's kind of in the a, works? Uh, song dropping sooner than you think. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on the album right now. Working on the album, song on the way. Like I got a lot of songs, but like I got like I'm piecing together which songs I want on the album. Then I'm constantly in the studio making new songs. Mm. It's gonna be an album coming probably end of the year, beginning of next year. Hopefully. What has been like the before we sign off? What has been like the the one craziest moment of this whole past couple months for y'all? Like if you could think of like the one moment that you were just like holy shit. What would it be? Even if it's something we already talked about. Um, everything. Everything been crazy. Like, the first two months, everything was... Well, I'm going to say the first month, everything was crazy to me. Every day, something new. Happened, yeah. Yeah, like, got it reaching out, Cardi. Um, Sweetie, the first week. That was crazy. when Like, that was the first celebrity I actually saw mm. in person and that worked with me. Mm. So that was crazy because I'm like, because I used to like sweet one of them girls, like she's so pretty to me. I just used to go on her page, look at her. <laughs> she just, I'm like, oh, she's so pretty and stuff like that. But yeah, all this stuff, like every time, I'm like, every time something hit me, I'm meeting new celebrities in real life. I'm like, these people who I'm fans of, like I'm your fan and I mean you on some working type stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I did. Well, look, I'm so excited for you. I'm so happy for you. Like, it's really been so incredible to watch uh, your come up. And I can't wait to see you at Rolling Loud New York City. So. Uh, I can't wait to see you. Oh, you're going to be at Angie's Barbecue, too, at the end of this month at the mm -hmm. Coney Island Art Walls. Uh, Saucy Santana, Be Love, Fabio Forum, Feels, all that good stuff. Well, everybody will be in the building. Um, before we sign off here for the day, uh, let the people know where they can follow you at. Anything else you want to let your fans know, now is the time to do it. This camera right here. Um, go follow me on Instagram, Iglo Pimp. Uh, my my YouTube, um, my YouTube. <laughs> the official Glorilla. Official Glorilla. On um, Twitter, Glow the official. Facebook, Glorilla. And let's go. There you go. Make sure you go follow her. Keep running up F and F. The remix is on yeah, the way. The project is on the way. New single sooner than y'all think. Real soon. Um, Glorilla, New York City on the radar. Appreciate you. Yo, thank Love. you for having me. Boom.